morning campers, stealth camp successful. Um, I've never done really much more than, well, no more than 10 stealth camps. I'm just off the road, the municipal campsite is over there, I'm back in the woods, out of the way. Put myself a little wind barrier there last night, because it won't blow in hard, but just to stop the wind from blowing through, and put a load of like uh, pine needles behind it and stuff, each side. And then put my trailer there, my bob trailer, and my bike's laid down. Keep everything low, so uh, you can't be spotted. Not that you're going to, you know, get into any trouble or anything, but it's nice to be... Uh, not seen, you know, hence stealth camping. And when I was going on the road last night, I uh, made a point of um, coming in here when there was no cars around, which is a good idea. Again, stealth camping. So yeah, I chose this spot um, just behind me about, what, 30 or 40 foot or something. There's a load of fire pits and things and some wood crisscross just to dry um, so I didn't know if anyone was going to come here last night I'm guessing maybe later in the year like more when it's warmer like mid to late July August or something I'm guessing so it was pretty good um, as a few times before I started off with sort of one eye open and then Got my head down at half ten. And then woke up just after midnight, because I checked the times. And there was an owl. An owl came to play not far from here, in one of the trees or something. So I recorded that, which is pretty cool. So, done that, put my head back down. Then awoke, checked the clock again, and it's quarter to five. So, a good solid uh, four, four and a half hours sleep or something there, undisturbed. I noticed behind me here, there's a pine cone on the floor that wasn't there before. So that's obviously fallen down. I didn't hear it. I've kind of set little booby traps everywhere. And there. 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 There's loads of twigs and stuff I put down around there. Because there are wild boar around here, but I'm guessing they're deeper, deeper in the woods down that way. And I didn't hear anything last night. I didn't, um... Didn't hear a thing apart from the owl. So yeah, what have I got to eat? People would be interested in what I've got to eat here, I think. Got some crisps. I do, do eat some crisps. Two bread rolls left. There was five, but I had three last night with uh, some really nice strawberry jam got a little box here I can put some bits and pieces in with a titanium spork and a teaspoon. Some peach juice nectar which is really nice and then tins of, pardon me, peaches with the ring pull. And then a big bag of dates, uh, some tomatoes in there which I bought off the roadside and some cherries as well just some extra water but I got some of that more water down there you know at the end of the day you will need to stock up on at least have a, a little bit of water some cream so yeah that's what I'm carrying where did I put that to? ah oh, right okay So yeah, all in all, I quite enjoyed it actually after a while. It's one of those things you uh, just got to get used to, I guess. But really peaceful here, really, really nice. The sun's just creeping up now, just feel the warmth on your face. Can't think of anything else to say really, apart from people who are into stealth camping. And all that jazz. Questions or comments down below. What what do you bring with you? Um, my sleeping mat is... A multi mat, it's not like a, a well known name, I don't think. I bought it in some random shop, an independent, I think. My pillow, my pillow is a Van Gogh actually, which is really comfortable. It's kind of
kind of like a half moon affair so you can like fold it over the other way so it's even thicker really does the job and packs down super tight so you can't complain with that and the sleeping bag I'm using is really a cheap cheap one I bought in Lidl um, although saying that it was cheap but the quality is good um, I did actually buy two of them because you can uh, you can double them up so you've got this massive sleeping bag and it's got like a nice sort of mummy's mummy hood on it and stuff so yeah although it was cheap it's not like the quality's not cheap that's what I meant so right I'm gonna have a little bit of brekkie and get on the road but you find that informative see where I am peddling raw out and about and this would be cool to look back on anyway in a year's time where I was thanks for watching bye